what's up and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be talking about my NECA Ultimate Terminator 2 Judgment Day T800 figure. And as you can see this is the uh, the box art for this uh, figure. And of course this is based on like the uh, Terminator from this movie right here, Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Which is actually one of my all time favorite films, you know. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, this is the 4K version I have. Because I have like other versions of it, but this is like the 4K version that I have of the movie itself, you know. But yeah, I kind of held back on getting this because I already did have like a Terminator 2 T-800 figure, you know, based on how you looked at it in Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Because I had one from McFarlane Toys, you know. But this right here is actually from NECA and it's an Ultimate Edition version of the figure, you know. So it has like, I think, lots of like articulation in it and so on, you know, and everything, you know. See, I'm going to get into uh, the stuff that the, uh, the figure comes with and so on. As you can see, like I said, this is like the image of the box art itself, which shows like Arnold Schwarzenegger, where you know, T the T-800 holding a minigun, you know. And also has like a, a side image of the picture too as well. It has Terminator 2, Judgment Day, and of course, Necker right here. And on the back, of course, you see like images of like the figure itself, you know, and like the, the various like things that it comes with. Like you see like, the T-800 over here, then you see one with the shades on, and one with like, I think a battle damage one, you know, with the pistol. And it also has like the little scripture on the back, and I think this was the scripture that Sarah Connor has said like in a movie where she says, uh, three billion human lives ended on August 29th, 1997. The few who survived the nuclear fire of Judgment Day live only to face the new nightmare, the war against the machines. In their effort to eliminate all remaining humans, Skynet sent two Terminators back through time, their mission to destroy John Connor, the future leader of the human resistance. The first was programmed to strike at his mother, Sarah Connor, in the year 1984, before John was born. It failed, of course, you know. And then the second was to eliminate John when he was just a child. As before, the resistance was able to send a lone warrior to protect the boy. The only question was, which one would reach him first? And of course, that was like the words that Sarah Connor spoke at the beginning of uh, Terminator 2 when it was actually coming on, you know. <laughs> now, this right here is like the inside of the box itself, like the opening of it, like the window, as you can see, where you have like an uh, image of Arnold. Well, I guess you could say the T 100 Terminator, you know, <laughs> with the minigun. And then you also have like a, you can see like the inside of like the, uh, the figure itself, like an accessory that it comes with. Got the alternate heads and the various weapons and so on. Which I am kind of excited about, you know, it's, it's awesome that they include like every weapon, you know, from the movie that he used. I think that's kind of awesome, you know. So yeah, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and open this up and get into it, you know. Another thing to appear, as you can see, there's like a, like a, a image of like the, uh, like the battle in the future, like the future war. I can tell it's the future work because you can see like, the lasers and stuff from like I think the, the the plasma rifles and stuff. Yeah, as you can see like the lasers, you know, from like the other guns and stuff like that and stuff. As you can see, this is like the background display art for it that you can use for, like a background for like the figure itself, you know. And of course, I don't use these. <laughs> okay, as you can see, there's the uh, T800 Terminator. Ultimate NECA figure, you know, where you can say NECA Ultimate T-800 Terminator T from Terminator 2, you know, figure. Kind of like I said, they have so many names for these figures, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, this is it, you know, I think it does look, uh, it looks pretty good, you know. Now, uh, one thing I'm going to touch on is like the, uh, and of course, this is based on, like I said, like his appearance in uh, Terminator 2 right here, as you can see. Which is one of my all-time favorite films, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, um... One of the things I'm gonna touch on, it, it does look pretty good, you know. It, it they do have like a lot of good detail in the song, but I know it's like one of the things I was noticing about it, you know, it was like Arnold's like face. At times, I kind of feel like it doesn't, you know, look too too much like him, but it does though. I just feel like you know they probably could have done like a better job, but it still is superb, you know. Now from the side, it does. Like if you look at it from the side, I think that looks awesome. Like the head sculpt itself, like the detail, that really does look like like Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know. But it does too, like from the front too, as well, you know. So, 
So what I do now is just touch on like the all the accessories that he comes with that you see, and he comes with quite a lot. I like the stuff that he does, and I'm glad that they included all like the weapons from like the movie. You know, I think that's awesome, you know. So yeah, I'm just going to touch on like everything that he comes with, you know. Now, as you can see, like the grenade launcher itself that's around like uh, the T eight hundred like body. What I'm gonna do is just actually take that on off, cause it actually came like on his body like that, you know. So what I'm gonna do is just go and take that on off. Then I get into like you know the detail and like the articulation of song of the figure itself. So I just pop his head off. I think you pop his head off, and then you just like you pull the strap off. So as you can see, there it is, the grenade. I think that's what they call it, like belt. So as you can see here, it's like the figure itself. Now this does stand about um. I think it's about seven inches, if I'm not mistaken. I'll measure down. Yo, he's like about like a little under like seven inches. I mean, a, a little under eight inches, about seven, you know, like seven and a half. Like the articulation on the figure, as you can see, you can bend like his arms up this way. I'm gonna be kind of careful with it, you know, because I'm kind of very cautious about like my figures, you know. You can bend his arms out like that, you know. You can put him like in a split, you know. You also can like bend like his knees and stuff. As you can see. You can do stuff stuff like that, you know. And of course the Arnold was the T eight hundred wouldn't do this, you know. I guess that John Connor was actually commanding him too, you know. Okay. Another thing too, like his head as you can see, you can turn him like all like this way, you can turn it to the left. To the right, and I think you can go at like 360 degrees with it. You also can like tilt it up like that. You can tilt it down like that, you know. And of course, it also comes off, and he has like that I think ball joint on it, as you can see, where that the head sits on. Go ahead, just put it back on. Okay, his waist can be turned and stuff, as you can see. Now, I like how it looks good. You can see like the uh. The muscularity of uh, like the T eight hundred with Arnold, you know, underneath it, I think that's kind of cool. Like under the jacket, I think that's awesome. I like how the gray shirt looks, how it does, like in the movie. Even like his jacket itself, you know, I think that was awesome. The way they did the jacket. Another thing too, on the back of the jacket, it actually has the bullet holes on it from like the T one thousand was shooting them in the back when they were in the mall, you know. I, I think that's kind of cool how they did that. Except like the bullet holes all in his jacket. I think even kind of on the front, you can kind of see like some holes, you know, on the front. I like how this hangs at the bottom too, like from the jacket, like the detail in it. That's cool. His feet can also be turned too, as you can see. You can turn the feet. It has like a tilt and stuff on it. On both of them. So yeah, I'm really amazed at like the detail in this figure too. Like I can say like like the look of Arnold. Like I say I kinda still feel like the uh, and it's awesome. It still looks good, you know. Maybe like like his face, you know, but as I get a better look at it now it does look kinda like it looks like Arnold, you know. But I know like when I was actually watching other people's videos and stuff I was seeing like images of like, you know, it didn't look too much like Arnold, you know, but it does. Now I know from the side it definitely does. That does look like you know like Arnold, you know, how he looks. It was just like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I think that's kind of cool. And like the clothes, like I said, is superb. NECA did a good job, like on the detail of the clothes itself. I think that was like awesome, NECA. <laughs> so what I do now is actually talk about the idea of the head sculpts for the figure, which I think NECA did like a very good job on. You know, so these are like the, uh, the two different ones. So you actually have like a total of three heads for this uh, T800 figure. You know, and of course this would be the one I probably mostly using all the time. Which is the uh the one of the shades now this one does look definitely like like on a Schwarzenegger, you know how he does, you know? I think that's kinda cool. <laughs> that looks exactly like him with the shades. Then you also have this one right here too as well. Which is I think uh I think this is called like the battle damage. I think that's what they call these. Where you can slide the uh the endoskeleton underneath. I think that's cool. I like how it's damaged and stuff, just how it looks like in the movie, you know. I think that's so awesome. Even like on the back and stuff, you know, I think that's so awesome the way they did that. The detail in it, you know. So what I do now is actually switch out the head. So I'm going to switch this head out. 
And you just pop these off like that, as you can see. And there's like the regular like T800 face, like, you know, with no shades. And I'm gonna put on the one with the shades, so it's probably the one I'll be displaying them in, you know. <laughs> when I'm done with it, actually, like most of the time, like when it's just me, you know, I just display them like that. And as you can see, there he is with like these shades. It has cool. Oh, I don't know. But it's just like them, too. I like the detail in it. One of the things kind of interesting about it, you can't remove the shades at all, you know, something that's kind of interesting. Kind of like the McFarlane one, you was actually able to, uh, I think it takes uh, Arnold's like shades off, like his shades off in that particular figure, but NECA doesn't have, and this one they don't. They may have like in the other versions. So what I do now is actually take this one off too. And put on the, uh, the final uh, head sculpt, which is the... Uh, the battle damage. I'm noticing that the heads went on pretty easy too. I didn't have no trouble with them. And as you can see, there's the, uh, I guess you can see the battle damage T800. Looks very awesome. I like how excited the endoskeleton in it, you know. The blood in stuff is so superb. The way your neck did that. Awesome. Well, of course, like I said, the head I'm probably really using is the uh, the one with the shades, of course, you know. <laughs> now, what I also do now is I just talk on like the uh, about the various accessories that uh, the T800 comes with, you know. And of course, here's like his signature weapon. Well, the cane, you know, from the movie, actually, which is this uh, shotgun. And I think the detail on it is, like, awesome, you know, it looks so, it looks exactly like it did, like, in the movie, you know. They did a good job, but you can see the wood on it and stuff. Now, if anything, it probably could have, it would have been kind of cool if NECA had this, like, where it was cocking, you know, when, you, like, when he's cocking it, you know. I think that'd have been cool if they had that kind of feature on it some kind of way, but you could see it breaking if they did, you know. So what I also do is try to see if I can get this in his hand too as well. Well, there's like a uh, me. I got it with the uh, the shotgun in his hand. Now I was actually kind of having trouble getting it in there, so I actually put it. And I knew that wasn't exactly how he was holding it, so I might mess around with that, you know, on my own, you know. But uh, I think this was uh, you know, it got in there pretty good. So I just be like showing off an image. Of uh, the T800 with the other uh, shotgun. Mm -hmm. Another thing too, I think the pistol is, was done very good. You know, they did a good job on the pistol. You know, the detail in it. I think that's awesome. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, there's the pistol in his hand too, as well. I think that's cool. So now what I do now is talk about his grenade launcher, another major weapon that he was using like in the film too as well. And as you can see, this is it right here. And I think it looks so cool, you know. I like how it looks exactly like it does, like in the movie, it even has like this belt on it, you know. The detail on it is like very awesome. Another thing too, he also has this rail too, like the grenade, like the, the ammo belt, you know, which is already on him when the figure was open, you know, you already, he already had this on him, you know, which I think is kind of cool. Off the, the bat with this too, with the grenade launcher, being that it has like this belt on it, you actually can put this on around like almost, what, a T-800, you can actually put it on his back, which is awesome, you know, so you actually have it like on his back, like he kind of did like in the movie, you know, you can have it like around his shoulder. Let's see if I can get the stand. So you can actually have it <laughs> like on his back. I think that is so awesome, you know, that you can actually have it attached to his back. Not attached. It's like you yourself have to put it on, you know, but you can't actually wear it on his back, you know. And of course, you know about the grenades. So what you do to put these on, 
you actually have to take his head off. And then you put this on like this. And then you put the head back on. Yo, the grenade launcher in his hand. Plus the also like the other ammo belt around him too. <laughs> I think that's awesome. I think Nick did a very good job with this figure. And like I said, it does look more like on a sports leg in his face. The more I actually look at it, you know, out the packaging. I'm kind of surprised, you know. Good job. <laughs> Video, I forgot to mention that Bob was going to actually just be switching the heads. I'm kind of going for like the flow of the movie. How Arnold was changed and throughout the movie, you know. So I'm going to just kind of stick with that pattern. You know, with it. As you can see, I have him like the battle damage, you know. Because of course he got his part during the moment when the police were shooting him up, you know. Inside of Cyberdar systems. But this right is like the last accessory. And I guess you could say the meat of this particular thing, which is the actual minigun. And it looks so awesome. As you can see, there's like the other uh, minigun itself. It has like this handle back there in the back too that you have to uh, put, I guess, put in his hand. And this is actually like the, you know, like the bullets, you know, that Arnold was like feeding to it from his, this bag, <laughs> this ammo bag, you know. So I'm going to just try to put this on him right now. And I guess you could say, like I said, this is probably like the coolest and best accessory that he comes with. So I'm going to try to uh, put this on right and may have the trouble with it, you know. <laughs> thing too. If you ever, if you have trouble figures, I always been suggesting that you know, always try to use like a hair dryer on them. What are you gonna do? You can like a blow dryer, you know, a hair dryer that to actually loosen them up. If you have trouble putting like the items in their hands or anything like that, I recommend using like this. You know, I heard you can use like hot water and stuff, you know, but I use this right here on mine. That's the way I go with it, you know. <laughs> I'll just make a suggestion. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, I have the uh, the mini gun inside the uh, the T eight hundred's hand. I got it, and I have it in both hands too, as you can see. <laughs> He's actually holding it like in both hands, which I think is kind of cool. Now the ammo bag, I think you can put this on him too, so I'm gonna try to mess with this right quick too as well. And yeah, there's like the bag hanging on. You have to actually mess with, you know, and I can tell that one really stay, you know. But as you can see, you can actually have the bag actually on his back too as well. I can move out, you had it attached to him, you know. <laughs> That's cool, the minigun. It's awesome. So I guess that's probably the coolest accessory that actually comes with the figure, you know, because it's like so large too as well, you know. <laughs> okay, that's my NECA Ultimate Terminator 2 T-800 figure from NECA. And I think this is a superb figure, you know. I think it comes with like amazing accessories. I think like the items and like the weapons and so on that he comes with are very closely accurate to the movie. I thought the figure itself looks superb, you know, and maybe a little couple of issues with like the, you know, the face of like how Arnold looks, you know, but I think it still is like an awesome and superb figure, you know, I would definitely recommend it, especially if you're a fan of like the Terminator 2 movie, you know, in general, you know. So yeah, uh, I would definitely recommend it. So another thing I didn't touch on, I think, was that I'm not too sure if the hands can actually be removed from this figure. I'm not too sure I know the heads could, you know. But I'm not too sure I didn't really bother with it, you know, because it didn't have like any like alternate hands or anything like that. But yeah, I would definitely recommend getting this figure. So that's me talking about the um, the NECA Ultimate Terminator 2 T-800 figure. And of course, this is based on like his appearance on Terminator 2 Judgment Day, you know. So I would definitely recommend this figure, you know. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe to as well. Do 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 do